Graffiti as a social medium provides people with a public voice that otherwise may not be heard in a society that's flooded with personal messages and opinion. Graffiti is a tool that can promote choice, equality, freedom, etc. People can learn from it. It can act as an educational tool. It can act as propaganda. It can act as art. It is as powerful as public statements and because of its function through visual images and words, it can be more powerful and influential than a speech alone. Where it said rip. words. It's a tool that's used to speak when you otherwise might not would have a voice. Graffiti can be used as an educational tool. It can be used in protest. It speaks to speaks for people who don't have voices. Graffiti is like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder. It has to speak to you. And what it says to me, it might not say to you. But it speaks to the beholder. And it can mean anything. It evokes an emotion. And that's probably the biggest characteristic of graffiti is that it speaks to one's emotions, whatever those emotions are. So with graffiti and social media, how do they correlate? What is the correlation in the superhighway of the internet and social media and graffiti? on social media and it'll spread like wildfire you can just have a picture that's worth a thousand words and if you put that on social media you put it on Twitter you put it on Facebook you put it uh, on any of the, the social medias you might have thousands of people who respond and tell you how they feel about that particular piece of art. What does the piece behind you represent for you? Well, the piece behind me shows that you have an African American, you have a gun, and if you look at the smoke coming out of the gun, he has used that gun. And that could mean anything. That could mean it could be gang related. It could be um, the right to carry and the new laws that they have out now where actually you don't even need to have a permit to carry. Um, I see anger in his face, but I also see him looking over his shoulder. And that's the thing when it comes to violence. You have to always look over your shoulder.
Perhaps the most powerful characteristic of graffiti is its ability to evoke emotions. This is a vacant house and what they're doing over here on the north side is they're trying to show some love to these vacant houses. with art and it's all up and down Page Avenue. St. Louis. And all of these buildings are vacant. That's a picture of a black Jesus. And that's Earl Wilson, who has done great things in St. Louis. This vacant home has a picture of God's hand coming out the cloud, protecting over St. Louis, which is a message in itself. And beside it is a person kneeling in prayer. Graffiti is an outlet to publicly speak out about social and political issues.